Hey friends, Bobby Allen here. Ah, I don't know where you are in the world listening, but I'm grateful that you're giving me a couple seconds to try to encourage you. That's it, just to say something that will make you rest, feel safe, feel encouraged, and let you know everything's gonna be okay. Here's what I know. The uncreated creator made you with a smile on his face. There are no accidental pregnancies with God. It matters to God you woke up this morning. And he's pretty excited about what he's doing in your life. Nothing or no one, visible or invisible, will prevent him or hold him back or interfere with what he's doing perfectly in your life. That's cause for a nice breath of relief, isn't it? If you choose to believe that. I know, with all the stuff going on with COVID and political things and people making up their own truths and everybody seeking for something to give them clarity, to give them hope, to give them a reason to continue existing. I don't say living, I said existing because Jesus is the only one who gives life. I know that's for those of you around the world that give me the privilege to share with you, walk with you, you email, you write, you care, you listen, and you say, yeah, you know, I don't believe in that Jesus stuff, Bobby. I know, but guess what? You're having faith in something. Why not try having faith in someone, right? And I just wanted to encourage you today, guys. It's gonna be okay. You're known. God sees you, he hears you. He's got you. I know there's a lot to hear and read in between the lines, right? Life's on. For some of you, you've been so kind to share. It's bleak and ugly and scary and frightening. I know. God really does have your name and address and he's not mad at you. Would you just make a decision to maybe try one more time believing that tonight, wherever you are in the world. Take a deep breath of relief and say, okay, Bobby, I'm gonna give it a shot. It's amazing. You're loved, cared for, and seen and heard. Not because you deserve it, but because you breathe. He made you. Well, Bobby, if God's loving and kind and he made me, then why does my life hurt so badly? Well, we'll talk about that. We'll continue the conversation about these awesome questions. Many of you have been asking, and I know it's been a couple years, what I do monthly or weekly, even 10, 12 minute touch base videos. I'm getting ready to do that. Some impromptu like this. And I hope it really encourages you. So thank you for coming along and taking a minute to listen. There's a lot of people to listen to. And there's a lot of things to do with your time. So I honor you and I feel privileged. So guys, let's do it together. Let's choose to say, I'm gonna be okay. Because the uncreated creator said, he'll never ever leave me. He'll never forsake me. And for those of you who are still wondering if he's alive, is this real? Hey, I was there until 1980. So I respect that journey. I respect those questions, those doubts, those fears. And there's a lot of things keeping you from walking to the other side. And most of it doesn't even have to do about God himself because he's very attractive on his own. But people like me and cultural religious sayings and thoughts and the ways we represent him sometimes turn people off. We're sorry. But don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. We're not always really good representations and we have our own beliefs and personalities and opinions and some, sometimes we get harsh and sometimes we get, you know, human. And don't let that stop you. All right? 
God has your name and address. He's not mad at you. Talk to you guys soon.